buddies, it's your girl I could see none today. We are checking out a story booth story. This is my best friend kept a huge secret from me. I want to know what, whether it's really that big of a deal. That's what I want to know. Because, you know, sometimes when we're young and we think of, like, things that friends have done. And then you get old and you're like, okay, I overreacted. What my friend did when I was a kid wasn't that bad. So I want to know what is the secret and was it a good idea to hide it? Was it necessary to hide it? Is the person kind of overreacting? We'll check it out. Link for this video is in the description box below for you to check out. Now let's get started. Story both, real stories animated. Hi, I'm Rose. Hello. Hello. I was just going to middle school, and mm -hmm. at the time, I was super shy. Oh. I was sitting there in my seat on the first day I of school, school, just hoping no one would approach me. I get that. But this girl sat next to me. Mm -hmm. I was nervous, and I looked at her. Mm -hmm. She had shoulder-length, curly red hair, pale okay. skin, and lots of freckles. Aww. She was really pretty. That's she said, I like how she's like, hmm. I'm Jaden. And a friendship blossomed from there. That's good. After that, we hung out all the time. We had sleepovers, went to see movies, went hiking, everything you could think of. That's really. cool. I miss bumper cars. But one particular sleepover, she seemed strangely upset. Okay. She What's excused wrong? herself to the bathroom and didn't come out for over 20 minutes. Okay. I thought she just had a stomach ache or something, but when oh, she came out, she had clearly been crying and was shaking. Oh, I asked no. her what was wrong, but she refused to tell me. Oh, no. The next day, after Jaden left, my mom told me the truth. Jaden was transgender. She was born as a boy oh. on the outside, but on mm -hmm. the inside, she was a girl. When okay. she was acting upset at the sleepover, it was because she was terrified and was having a panic attack. Oh. She didn't want me to find out that she was transgender. Oh, okay. Jaden's mom told my mom because she was worried Jaden would become close to me only for me to leave her when I found out she was trans. Oh. I was completely shocked by this news. Jaden looked What'd like any other girl. She sounded like a girl, looked mm -hmm. like a girl, and acted like a girl. Mm -hmm. Ten-year-old me had never known anyone who was transgender. Okay. Or at least I didn't think I did. It really right. confused me. I, of course, so didn't you hate do? anyone who was transgender. Okay. That's good. And I'm I trying to figure out what she did. Before, but yeah. me being so young, I was just so confused. Okay. After a long day of thought, I decided just because she was different didn't mm -hmm. mean that I should just kick her to the curb. Exactly. So I told her That's I knew good. that she was trans, and she started crying and thanked oh, me. Oh, no. Baby. Right now, okay, I'm in eighth good. grade, and we're actually still friends to this day. That's good. So I hope that the lesson you can get out of this is... If you find out that someone is a member of really anything, mm -hmm. make sure that you do anything that you can to perfectly understand this person as right. much as possible. Because right. if you're just close-minded and turn your back on them, mm -hmm. you could really be missing out on an amazing friendship. That's true. Wisdom out of the mouth of babes. Wisdom out of the mouth of babes. Like, I... I'm really happy about this story. I'm not gonna lie, I was like, okay, what is her secret? And when she was crying, I was like, what is she gonna say that her secret is? And you know, how is this gonna affect their friendship? Like I said before, it's this chick overreacting. Um, Cause I thought maybe she kept a secret. And she's like, she never told me that she changed her hair color. And then she was upset, but that's not the case. And I'm very happy about that. I loved the wisdom that she had and the aspect of, you know what, I'm not going to hate her just because she's different and I don't understand it. I'm going to try to understand it. I think that's one of the greatest things that we can do when, when we're brought with a situation that we don't understand or a person we don't understand. Instead of, like she said, being closed-minded and be like, uh, deuces and leaving. Taking the time to understand this person and find out who they are because you can mess you can miss out on a really awesome and great friendship because just because of their sexual orientation does not mean that you won't have a good relationship or friendship or benefit from understanding or you know those conversations and things like that those interactions that could be very fruitful to who you are as a person. Um, I think it's really great to be such a young person and have that mindset. I think good on good on you, Rose. Good on you, Rose. I think Rose did the great right thing. And I'm so happy with the decision she made and the mindset she left with. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you think? How would you feel if you were in that situation? Uh, if you like the video, check out the link in the description box below to support Story Booth and everyone involved in making the video. If you like this video, hug the life out of that like button. I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies. Toodles.